Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be answering the question, what is RV water damage? RV water damage is when water gets into your RV either through a crack, a hole, or a loose seam on the exterior of the RV that allows water to infiltrate into the wall or interior of the RV and start doing damage. And it does do damage very rapidly. It can also occur anywhere there's plumbing inside your RV. So you need to check around the toilet, the shower, underneath the bathroom sink, underneath the kitchen sink. Anywhere there's water or plumbing flowing from one area to the next, around your water tank or around your water pump, those areas need to be checked for leaks because water damage can occur in these areas also. And once water gets into the RV, it really does a lot of damage to the interior very, very fast. It can damage structural framing, it can damage the uh, cosmetic walls, it can damage the flooring, uh, it can really just tear things up really, really quickly. So, that's what RV water damage is, and if that's all you want to know, you're free to go. But now we're going to jump in, I'm going to show you a few examples of water damage that I've had on my RV, because it's a very old RV, and it wasn't very well taken care of uh, for through some of the previous owners, you know, here and there, just water damage got to it in a big, big way, and I've been struggling to repair that. So I'm going to take you out and show you how to identify areas that definitely have water damage that's already causing damage and uh, areas that are gonna need to be repaired. And this might help you to spot some of the earlier warning signs of the RV water damage. So without further ado, let's jump out there real quick and I will show you a few examples of some pretty bad water damage. <laughs> Here we go. There are several ways that you can check for water damage. One of which is just by pressing on the wall and listening to the sounds and making sure there's no softness or separation between the wall and the inner wall. I'll give you an example of what I mean because there's obviously some water damage right behind this panel. So I'll hold my microphone up and push on it, and you can kind of hear the crackling of the, uh, of the inner lining of the wall, which indicates water damage. And just alone having that much play, just having that much play in the wall is probably going to indicate that there's definitely some water damage. And I'm not sure if you can hear it on the microphone, but you can definitely hear some crackling sounds. That sounds kind of like brittle wood. And that's going to be a great indication that you have some serious problems as far as uh, water infiltration and water damage. As you come to the inside of the RV, there's some pretty obvious signs of water damage in this area. All around the window, you can see that uh, it's just starting to fall apart here. And so that's pretty bad water damage and it probably indicates that you have a bad seal around the window because it is a, a little soft underneath. And then on this side, it's uh, just a little crunchy as well. So that's gonna be a real obvious indication that you have some water damage is when your wood just really starts peeling out. I mean, that's about as obvious as you can get. And over here by another window, even though it's not as obvious as the other area, you can see there's a little bit of wrinkling right here. And then when you press on it, sure enough, there's some crinkling and a little bit of separation. So you also have water damage in this area here. Okay, everybody. So this is the overhead cab of this uh, 82 Classy e Jamboree. And we have serious, serious problems here. Um, there's usually a curtain that covers most of this up. And there was a leak years ago before I bought it, but um, the, we sprung a really large leak this winter while I was in storage, and it is just destroying this wall so fast. This is all one year of uh, damage, about the last six months really, this has happened. So I had a real bad leak, I'm guessing, around this window, something I missed. And uh, this is just a nightmare right here. This is all squishy, and it's all gonna have to be replaced. That's not good, super not good. And so, you know, I think we just gotta pull some of this back for you, but it's just falling apart on us. It's completely deteriorated through here, and uh, that's what happens when you store your RV, other than uh, by your house, somewhere where you can check it all the time, and it, it got snowed on and leaked, and look at this under here. We have mold, all kinds of bad stuff going on in here. This is all gonna have to be torn out replaced, disinfected, sealed, and restructured. <laughs> it's really bad news for us. So the, 
this just serves as a warning to you to make sure you check often in your RV, especially if it's an older RV, but basically any RV, make sure you check everywhere or this will happen to you. Not good. Not good at all. That's just, it's all completely trashed. It'll all have to be replaced and reframed and blah, blah, blah. So probably going to be doing a video on that or something for the repairs on that, but this is a disaster. So make sure you always check for water damage. Well, there you go. Water can do an insane amount of damage very, very quickly if left unchecked. So it's very important to always do routine inspections inside and out looking for any signs of water damage. Um, water damage can be repaired. For example, where I, the first part of the footage where I showed you some of the, uh, the paper coming off around the window. I did repair that about a year ago and it went from this to this, which looks really well and it's holding up great. Uh, however, the steps in between was a bit of a nightmare and it took a lot of work. So the second part of the footage where I show you over the overhead cab and there's mold and I'm just pulling chunks of wall off, that just happened over the winter. It's been going on for a while and I've been struggling with it to get that leak fixed and this winter it just really took a bad hit and it's all going to have to be repaired. And I will be doing a video on that to show you the repair process here in the next couple of days. I've been working on it for the last two weeks. Um, at least that way you'll understand if you have to do some repairs of your own or if you're taking it in to have repairs done, you'll kind of have a better understanding of what's involved and uh, the process and what's inside uh, a wall that's uh, built like mine. So stay tuned for that. It should be kind of educational for you. It was not a lot of fun to do over the last two weeks, but I'm done with that. So I'm going to be sharing that video with you in a couple of days. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.